Well, it looks like the dwarves have themselves a case of the Mondays. What was supposed to be a simple, easy patrol out into the wilderness is now turning into a fight for their lives. Surrounding them are three massive, ugly, disgusting, man flesh eating goblin armies that are in position to attack. Can the dwarves hold their triangle fort with their might and will, or will they be overrun by the goblin filth by the end of the day? We're gonna find out soon enough, so sit back, relax, get some snacks and drinks, and enjoy the show. All right, so let's get this show on the road. This one starts off really quick here, so uh, we need to uh, kind of quickly go over what we got going on. So like I said in the intro, we got three, three goblin armies, three dwarven armies. The dwarves, of course, are set up inside here. Now, they're going to sally out a little bit with some infantry, and this was a perfect opportunity to shoot some artillery into their ranks. As soon as I saw them... You know, funneling through this uh, narrow pathway is like, oh my god, let it rip. Let it rip. There it goes. Yeah, we got some good hits in there. That was delicious. Uh, so really quick, uh, with the rules here, just one artillery, max two pikes, max four archers. Um, the money was at 20k, and you can see that dwarves are outnum outnumbered more than two to one. This is going to be intense. Anyways, I'm leading this army here, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and run up some high chieftain guard mixed in. Are these all? Oh, these are no. Okay, they're mixed in with some goblin blade warriors. Some pretty good infantry relative to the goblins. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna run them up and just kind of set up a defensive line to protect my archers. Meanwhile, my teammates here are gonna begin the attack, and the rest of the dwarves are gonna defend inside the settlement. Uh, so. Let's go ahead and get this one into uh, normal speed as the dwarves now march. And right at the right before they charge, I form shield wall to kind of bolster their defensive position, I suppose. I didn't I, I definitely expected the dwarves to sally out in some way or another because it's so tight inside their fortress and they'll be sitting ducks if they didn't sally out. So I'm not really surprised by this sally out. And now I'm flanking with shock troops and I'm gonna try to get behind the dwarves, something I desperately need to do uh, if I'm gonna be able to defeat this, uh, this infantry, which is far, far more superior. Oh, sorry. Far more uh, superior than my army. So guys, I was streaming this battle live uh, on Friday I think uh, I'm going to make Friday my stream day. So if you guys want to take part in these battles, we have a lot of fun. We do some scenario battles like this one, you know, Erebor Dwarves versus Goblins. Uh, classic matchup. Here comes a, another flanking maneuver by me. I'm trying to get behind the Goblin or sorry, Dwarven forces. But yeah, guys, uh, be sure to check out my streams on Friday. Uh, I, I let really anyone in as long as you have a decent computer and internet, uh, just so the games, you know, flow nicely. Uh, but yeah, definitely check it out because it was a lot of fun and we got a lot of cool battles in. So here we go. Now my archers are running up. Oh, nice. He's gonna he's gonna counter flank my my flanking troops here. They're not the greatest of infantry, but whatever. Uh, I got my archers in the back, just kind of firing at whatever they can. Uh, you know, mostly dwarven units that are far away. My artillery still firing here. Let's go ahead and zoom out here though. Um, you can see that there's some trolls being sent in by my ally. So he's sending in some trolls to help my, uh, my axemen here. So the trolls are the goblins with our massive clubs. Boom. Boom. Yeah, so. Uh, now they're, they're also sending two units over here. So my allies are sending help to help me hold against these dwarves. While that's going on, they're also attacking the main fortress. More trolls. I think we also did max one troll per army, but yeah. Yes. Nice. Look at that shield. The dwarves in their like phalanx formation. So epic. They're definitely going to be able to hold on for uh, quite some time here. The settlement is beginning to burn because the artillery, the walls are crashing down. Here we go. Oof. 
More infantry charging in. Same thing over here. Very similar setup. You have the spear troops taking on some trolls, take, taking on some goblin infantry. And it's, it's getting intense. Can the dwarves hang on? The balance of power is greatly not in their favor. Greatly in the goblins' favor. But look at this. The, the dwarves are having some success here. There's n no surprise whatsoever uh, that they're able to um, push and crush the goblin infantry. Because that's just... The dwarven infantry is just superior over the goblin infantry. Uh, now that the infantry has gone, I'm going to focus all of my archers into this blob. Because they're kind of sitting there like nothing in the way. And I can really focus them down. So I've got my uh, goblin heavy archers just opening fire. I got artillery opening fire once again. Going for big targets back here. Just trying to soften them up. Because they are sending in even more infantry. Which is kind of surprising. I thought at this point they would kind of let up. And just turtle back up. Because they did destroy a huge chunk of my army. Of course they didn't completely destroy it. Um, but yeah, he's, he certainly did a lot of damage. Uh, I've sent in my trolls as well. I've also sent in, I had some, uh, goblin spear warriors. Uh, they're moving in. They're pretty good at holding the line because, you know, they're spears. Basically like pikemen, like short, short pikes. But yeah, it's, um, it's getting intense. And it definitely looks like the dwarves are going to win here, but it's pretty close. And I'm really going to try to get creative with my my archers. You can see he's charging my uh, artillery crew. I'm going to just go ahead and run them away. And I'm going to focus down these uh, dwarven guard. Ooh. Ooh. But yeah, I chase them down with my infantry, which causes them to break. And then I can get my, my crew back up on the artillery to, to, to keep firing. Uh, back over to the main fight. Let's see how the dwarves are holding here. Ooh, it's, it's intense. It's looking intense. Look at that. Oh man. The trolls running through the ranks, the burning of the buildings, and the guards doing the best they can. Yeah. You know, the trolls, that's what they're made for. They disrupt line. Look how sick and gritty this is. This is awesome. Looks good, too. The lighting. Usually, Attila lighting looks like garbage. That that and Rome, too. They both kind of have rough... I guess Rome 2's lighting is a little bit better. I don't know. Their lighting kind of sucks. Oh, man. Look at that. Just blood on the ground. It's a nasty fight. Dwarves desperately hanging on for dear life. Let's uh, zoom back out of this one. So I actually take my goblin. So I have the goblin king in my army. So I was like, oh, look, he can't, he can't die yet. So I take the goblin king and I'm going to shift him over to my allies army. Um, just think of it as this big force is one army led by the goblin king. So really he's just shifting to a different flank. Because this battle is getting very close. And it's actually... It is it is looking extremely close. Thanks to the uh, the trolls. That are just utterly spanking them. Big time booty spank. Yeah, the trolls are annoying. You definitely got to use archers to deal with the trolls. But if I was the, if I was the dwarves, I'd just get out of here. I wouldn't waste my time chasing these guys i'd get reinforcements back to the front line because things are looking very very rough for the dwarves right now um there we go we got a fresh unit look at these this tomb wardens this is like a phalanx unit and they're pretty cool they have this ability it's called like it's like phalanx march or if you, you for five seconds they'll kind of like march forward that's I, i'm pretty sure the modders of this game did that it it actually works really nicely because phalanxes like pikemen sometimes they can get a little glitchy a little funky so having that ability that you can use every once in a while just kind of pushes them forward towards the enemy it's nice it's nice does it does some damage kills them you know helps the pikemen get more aggressive But yeah, they should, they sh uh, maybe they do, they need like crossbowmen to focus fire. There we go. This is what they need. 
Like, they just need a fire at these trolls. Oh, man. Look at that. Flee for your lives. Artillery coming in, just trashing everything. So, yeah, it's a, it's a brutal fight at this fort. And uh, every minute that goes by, the dwarves are getting weaker and weaker. They need a miracle here. They need to cause a mass rout. Here we go. We got some dwarven crossbows up here. Looks like they used up all their ammo. And now they're going super saiyan charge against the trolls. Let's uh, let's join the charge with them. Ah! Charge! Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Man, those trolls. That was, that was kind of legit terrifying. Oh. Oh. So awesome, man. The modders on this game, man. It's so cool. Uh, so great little dwarven charge there. For sure. For sure. Back this way. More and more goblins are charging in against the dwarven defenders. Oh, so many trolls. So many trolls. What are you going to do? You got to kill them. Uh, back this way, we've got a, we got a dwarven general. Dane! Ironfoot, he's surrounded. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, he's getting it. He's, he's getting in it. He's like, you're not taking this fault from me. My, uh. My beautiful Scottish accent. You know, they always give the dwarves the Scottish accents. Oh, jeez. Fire arrows are coming in. Look, you got to kill there. Sort of. Oh, man. So he's fighting for his life right now. Kind of fighting surrounded. Uh, his crossbows who are kind of helping him are starting to break. Back this way, the floodgates are being held back by a thin board of plywood pretty much you got the iron guard but this is i don't know if this is going to be enough it's getting intense guys uh it's getting down to the wire same thing over here the dwarves just holding back what they can come on dwarves more iron guard coming around flanking around looks like they're gonna go and try to hold back these goblins who are currently attacking this dwarven giant ballista look at this thing it's so awesome here they come the support oh with the fire there they go ah charge just trying to like scrape up whatever they can to hold these positions there's the goblin king he's joined back into the fight he's running around looking for some fresh meat and yeah it looks like the entire dwarven defense has been vanquished here and now we're down to the last remaining few units outside this uh settlement there's also still some fighting so surprisingly my army uh has kind of survived still um, so, you know, shout out to my army, I guess. Shout out to my teammates for helping me out. Um, my trolls are still alive, being annoying. Uh, we got some dwarves over here. Some dwarven warriors. Warriors. They're coming around and they're, they're going to try to join in and try to turn that little fight around. Um, yeah, the, at this point, the dwarves need a bit of a miracle. The Goblin King has joined the fight against these dwarves over here. You can see his bodyguard. I love, they've got this like copper green. It looks really cool. You know, it's like their, their, their copper armor almost turning green. Oh man. These desperate dwarves getting shot with fire arrows. This guy, he blocked an arrow in his shield that looks so cool. Still on fire. Come on, kill him. He's just an archer. Come on, get him. Get him. Take him out. 
Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. We're down to the last minute, guys. The dwarves, unfortunately, broke over here. I'm now sending in whatever I, g I got into this fight. And this is what remains of the dwarven army. Three units trying to desperately hold back the hold on hope. Hoping that something, some miracle would happen. But unfortunately for the dwarves, that miracle will never arrive. And they desperately fight against trolls, goblins, and uruks. Whatever they got. Oh, man. So good. Nice, nice, nice. Very cool. There it is. And that's it, guys. Uh, a deadly defeat <laughs> for the dwarves. Uh, I would say the scenario was a little lopsided. Uh, I think the players, the dwarven players, did the best they could. I like the, the fact that they sallied out and really tried to bring the fight to me. Um, I was expecting it, but I think that was the right plan of action because you just didn't want to have everything so blobbed up in here because every army had artillery. So it was going to really chew them up. I think to make this more fair, I would have probably, if we did this again, probably one army have one artillery and maybe like max two trolls would make it a bit more interesting. Uh, but it was a, nonetheless, this was all for fun. We, we weren't like, you know, like, oh, we got to win no matter what. You know, we were just getting in there having fun with the Lord of the Rings battle, you know. Uh, so, yeah, this was a great battle. It was a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and end the um, results here or look at the results. So my army, you can see that they lost the most, uh, mostly because, you know, I, I was like full on attacked by the dwarves. Um, what did best? My trolls did really well. 142. My archers, some of my archers did pretty decent. Uh, some of my infantry did pretty well. It's pretty even spread. Um, but we can look at my teammates here. Um, pretty similar. Oh, he brought two trolls. Oh, and he brought two trolls. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no wonder. So many trolls. Holy crap. Yeah, that... Uh, my artillery got the most kills. Yeah, that sucks, man. That's a lot of trolls you got to deal with. And then Erebor over here. We got Cool Billy. Um, he did good with uh, Dane. He got almost 300 kills. Of course, they're going to have a ton of kills because they have... Oh, we got Balin over here. Nice. Um, they have smaller armies, but higher quality. Um, over here though, not great with the Dwarven Warriors, but his, uh, his guard here carried. Oh, and we got another Dane Ironfoot. So very cool fight. This was a lot of fun. Guys, I, we also fought a, um, a Moria battle and holy smokes. Is that a good battle? Holy smokes. Uh, probably one of the best battles I've ever played on this mod. Uh, that's going to be coming out soon, so look out for that. Don't forget to like and share that, you know, lay siege to the like button. Uh, means a lot to me. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time in Middle Earth.